Hey everyone, my name's Drew and I'm here from Siege Media today to talk to you about how to use import HTML in Google Sheets for scraping data from the web. I've been using Google Sheets for years now, uh, building helpful tools and app script. And if this video doesn't solve your problem, you can check out our other piece on import XML, which may be a little bit more in depth and can help solve your problem. So import HTML is a function that's built in by Google to the Google Sheets app. And so if you go into the documentation here, you'll notice that there's three parameters that you need to add. The URL of the page that you're looking to scrape data from, the query, which is either a list or a table, depending on how the data is structured on the page, and then an index of where that, like if there's multiple table elements, which one do you want to grab? And so in this example spreadsheet, I've basically constructed the query in these cells. And I'll share this uh, sheet after in the show notes as well. And so for an example, we're going to grab financial data on DeFi uh, crypto assets. So we'll plug in this URL here in chains. We'll select table. That's the element that we're going to want. And it actually pulls in without even the need of index. It just defaults to the first one. And so as you can see, all this data is here, and you can manipulate that. It will update, I believe, every 15 minutes. So if you wanted to take a snapshot of a single source of truth, just make sure you copy that data and paste it manually in. Otherwise, if there are multiple tables, you could enter a two or different numbers, and it'll let you know that if that is not available, which is the case here. So if you go back to one, it fills in there. For another example, a really common one is grabbing data from Wikipedia. And so I'll be showing you how to quickly grab this population data, which has about 180 rows. And in this example, I'll just construct the URL as you normally would. And so in the cell, A1 is where I'm starting. I enter the equal sign, import HTML, all caps, open parentheses, the URL and the elements will be added in quotations. So open quotes, enter that URL from Wikipedia, close quotes, comma, I'm going to grab the table element, and I'm going to grab the first one. Close the function, hit enter, and it's loading. And as you can see, it populated that data super quick and easy. So hopefully this is helpful for you to get a sense of quickly grabbing data for data studies, or if you want to do a deep dive on some competitor analysis and want to grab some data, that should be helpful. Please leave a comment in this video if you want to ask any questions. I'm happy to help answer those for your particular use case. Don't forget to check out the import XML video that we've done in the past. And uh, if you want more content like this, please give us a subscribe, like the video. And yeah, thank you for watching.